Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Tara, and the name of my channel is Excitement Tea. And today, I thought I would do a craft room tour so you guys can see what's in my room. So actually, they're gonna, it's going to be a part one and a part two to this because I actually have one and a half rooms. I have an older son that has moved out, and I took half of his old room. And that's where all my printers and I have another sewing machine that's in there. So let's let's look around and see what's in here. First of all, let's start over here on this wall. So over here I have this. This is my cameo silhouette. And I do not know how to use this, but a nurse sold this to me because she didn't have time to fool with it. And she sold it to me with all the vinyl and cutting mats and everything come with it. It's um, probably the first version of the silhouette. I don't really know. It does work. And I've cut on it once, but I just, I don't know how to do it. And then this is my shelving system over here. I have a lot of different um, items in here that I use. I use my Cricut more to do like these pot holders and stuff like that and then in this drawer I have like um, Christmas ornaments and stuff like that that I keep and then down over here these are like all my blank koozies and I got some self adhesive spray and then these are some that I did like a couple of years ago and I just sewed this pouch on there to put different things in and then up here this one mostly has um little purses and just things that i have collected um over the years and i just put them in here down here in this long drawer this is all my vinyl for my cricket or the silhouette that i used the sticky vinyl that's what this drawer is then I have another drawer down here. This is all my HTV. This is what I use the most of. I got glitter, um, all different types of HTV I keep in here. And then down here on the floor, it's just vinyl. And then I've got some of this um, infusible ink. It was on sale for $5. I've never used it, but I've just bought it for future use in case I wanted to use it. Okay, so then over here, this is where I, let's see if this is, this microphone is in the way. Okay, at all. Okay, so over here, this is where I have got this easy press. My husband bought me this about three or four years ago. I've never used it, so it's here. Then I've got this Cricut Joy that he bought me. Just got this for Mother's Day. Um, hadn't opened it yet, but Joanne's had a sale on this Cricut Smart stuff. So I would have had him bought that because eventually I am going to use it. Just hadn't got around to it. Um, on this wall over here, this is where I keep all my sewing thread. This is the thread that I use in my sewing machine. I have a Singer sewing machine and I use this type of thread. And then I also have, let me turn this light back on, I also have a Viking and I use a different kind of thread in it. And so this is my TG family sign that I got birthdays, but I don't have them up there. And then in this cubicle, this is where I store like all my blanks and I mostly just have kids blanks because my grandson is two and I make him a lot of stuff. And in here, this is just kind of like a catch-all drawer. With a bunch of different junk in there. And then um, this is the same thing. Uh, glue gun, static guard. This is my cam press where I keep all my snap presses in there. This is my organ I had when I was a little girl. I could play that. Over here on this wall, I have a peg board that I had cut at Marvin's. And uh, I just had my brother cut it in half, and I got this shelving system, like from Joanne's. These are mugs that if somebody wants me to put something on a mug, I will. And then I have a scissor sharpener, 
And this is my bobbin winder. This is what I use to wind bobbins on my singer machine and Viking. This is, I have a jigsaw. So those are my blades for the jigsaw. And then I do keep scissors over here. And then this is a little, when I was making a bunch of masks, I made this to press out the mask. Then I have some paper clips, a compass, a couple of scissors. Um, then if it's, then I use this for like a little light. Um, like if it's dark over here. These are all my hoops that go with my biking machine. Um, and then I have a magnetic hoop. Uh-oh. That fell. Anyway, those are my hoops that go with that machine. I do have this little iron that I use. I got that from Walmart. And then this is my sewing machine oil that I use. And my hammer. And then this little thing. This is where I keep all my elastic in here. This right here is a big row of paper. I had a friend that works at the newspaper. Her mom works there. And when I make my own patterns, she gives me this big old roll of paper so I can draw my patterns out on here. And I also can use this banner of paper too to make my own patterns. Okay, then come over here on this side. This is my Viking Topaz machine. This is a combo, an embroidery machine, as well as a sewing machine. I got this last year. This was my first embroidery machine. I love it. It does good. It's a single needle. Um, of course, there's my birdhouse. I collect birdhouses and it lights up. And I couldn't put it outside because I, I didn't want it to get dirty. So I left it in here. Back here, this is where I keep all my manuals to this sewing machine and other notebooks that I keep back here in that little black case. Let me see. This little case, this is where I keep my um, USB drives are in here that also go with this machine. And then I have a brother, staples, I keep them in there and for my little mini stapler. And this is an old Kleenex thing. This is what I use to put my vinyl when I do my weeding. I just dump them in there and use that. On this wall, this is one of my monitors that I use. Because we had to work from home last year, so I still have it. And I just put it up here on this shelf so it would be higher. This right here is some embroidery thread that I bought from off of Amazon. Um, I think it's got about 40 spools. I'll do a video on that on my next one. And then, uh, of course, this is my candle burning that I got from Joann's. I love it. This is one of my smart lights. It'll also charge my phone. Got a pen holder. holder. Then this is my bigger monitor that I use. Like if I want something on this screen, I can put it over here or here. Like if I'm on my Cricut, I can put some images over here. Or if I'm using my So What Pro, I can put it over here and work on both of them. This is my Dell laptop come on down of course that's tv um i do watch tv down here and this can be hooked up to either one of my monitors this is my cricket machine this is the explorer one this is the first one i got i never did upgrade to any other one i have a bluetooth adapter that i use i bought this and this makes mine wireless okay then in these little baskets, I just have work stuff, notebooks, index cards, a mouse. Um, this was a little shelf I got from Dollar General. Usually it goes over the sink, but it couldn't fit over my faucet. So I just spray painted it and I set the monitors and my TV on it. And it works out pretty good. Then we come over here to this side. This is my heat press. I got this heat press one year. I think for Christmas, my husband bought me this, and it does good. Then I keep my heat tape over here as well, along with some t-shirt um, things that I use to measure the center and logo, left chest logos, I use those. And I have that sitting on this little table. And then up under here is just more storage that I have here. Then we're going to come over here. This is my serger machine. 
I got this at Walmart. It's a Serger 1634D. I'm not using it, so when I'm not using it, I keep it covered so dust won't get on it. Then we come this way, and this is my six needle brother machine. I got this back in April. It was used, got it off Facebook Marketplace. It does really good. I love it. And then I have a lamp back here that I use for more lighting. And we're going to come around up here. This is like a shower caddy. And this is where I used to keep my spray at. He's temporary. He's the sprays right here and all my duct tape and carpenter's tape is right here. This little container holds my glitter glues. And I keep egg cardins to like if I'm going to be painting I just put the paint in these and use those so then we'll come around over here I have another shower caddy you can see that it's got spray paints in it and some foam paint brushes and then this is an this is another peg wall that I have I had cut from the other part of that peg wall and so this is more chalk paint i keep it in this little basket they're just little mini cans got this at joann's and this is just a little glue gun and then this is my dust blower i have a stapler back there this is some spice jars but i use them to keep makeup wedges alcohol pads and um cotton balls then up here I have some ribbon and then these are just more containers. This is all my t-shirt guide things that I use. Of course my ruler. And then these are all my sticky mats that I use. And then, on, and then I have a table. This is a desk that I had cut. It had a desk on it. I took the top of it off and put one of these mats on it. This is like a self-healing self mat. So if you can see that, it's kind of hard to do this. Um, this is what I used to cut fabric on. Then under here, I have three bin cubicle. And this is where most of all my fabric is in these containers. And I use those to make stuff. And then this container, this is my scrap HTV. I keep it all in here just in case I need to make something that's small. Um... Of course, this is one of my simplicity books. Um, I look through these books to get inspiration on making stuff. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. And what else? This is my cover. I usually keep this over that Viking machine so dust will not get on it. And I try to cover all my sewing machines so dust can't get on them. Um, this is another bin that I have, and it's got a bunch of fabric in it. I'm going to fold it all up, and it'll be organized one day. So, I guess that's about it for my craft room. Actually, up under this table, I do have two other sewing machines that I um, have, and some storage bins that's got like stabilizer and all that kind of stuff in them and my cap hoops so i guess that's about it um on this craft room if you have any questions for me or if you would like to see anything else um that might have interest you in the craft room just leave a comment below and i will answer your questions um Thank you for tuning into this channel and seeing my craft room tour and I hope you have a great day and if you like videos like this please consider subscribing to this channel I will be doing some tutorials on this Viking machine as well as my brother machine and my Cricut machine and that Cricut Joy so thank you for watching